Yeah, I'd like to first recap a few of the important things we're going to need to know moving forward, but just kind of a quick refresher. We learned about selling options, right? We sell a call if we believe the stock is going down, and we sell a put if we believe the stock is going up. And in exchange for selling options, we get this much higher POP, our chance of making money on the trade. On average, when we sell options, we're going to have about a 65% chance of making money. But the big downside with selling options, as we've learned, is this max potential loss. So here is the same example we used before, the 1215 call and the 1220 put is what we sold initially. And of course, our biggest problem when we sell options is this unlimited, which we labeled as undefined loss. On the put side, it's the same thing. Even though there's a number here because the stock can only go to zero, realistically, it's an undefined loss potential because we're not going to see a stock go from $1,200 to zero in 30 days. So undefined loss potential. But in exchange for this undefined loss, we have this high POP, which on average is about 65%. Not always 65%. We're just talking about an average. So we sell options because we have a high POP, but... We also have this undefined loss potential, which is beginning traders, we are not ready to take. So can we define our potential loss, right? Take this edge off and still have a high POP? We can. And we do that by something called verticals. We're going to define verticals. We're going to look at short verticals. Short equals sell equals credit. And in this case, short verticals, we're going to look at undefined risk versus defined risk and the POP involved and long equals buy equals debit. So we're going to look at those verticals as well. And in this case, we're going to look at undefined profit versus POP and defined profit versus POP. So let's move forward.